Good morning, world. It rained pretty much the whole night, and but tent stayed dry. Everything okay here. I'm going to pack this backpack for my day hike up to Ben Nevis now and leave the tent here. So, but I will already roll the mat and put sleeping bag together, prepare everything in the way that I just have to pick it up quickly when I'm back from Ben Nevis so I don't lose time on my way to Fort William. Quick look outside. Okay, I think I got everything. We'll leave the gas canister here because I don't need it anymore. No more. No more coffee cooking, no more dinner cooking. Here's the tent. See you tonight. Okay, left my tent. The midges were already quite active over there. <laughs> um, now I'm in front of the shop reception of the campsite. Need to wait that the shop opens in like 10 minutes because I need some snacks. I ran, totally ran out of muesli bars, snacks, everything, so I need something for that mountain there. <laughs> Hi, so I'm on the way here on the road, last little bit from the campsite to Fort William. For a while I thought about if I should share this or not. If I hadn't shared it, wouldn't it have been a lie? I just thought, okay, maybe it doesn't fit into the video. But now I thought, okay, why not? So I have to walk this morning, I have to walk to a shop in Fort William this morning uh, to get an SD card, micro SD card for my GoPro because I'm running out of space. Yeah, I only have like 10 minutes left on this SD card and I don't think that's enough for Ben Nevis. I want to record a lot more. So, yeah, now I walked half an hour, see the first houses, Fort William, and now we'll go to a shop. Still, I will not reach the end of the West Highland Way, because that's somewhere else. I will already be in Fort William, so I will be in reach of a couple of hundred meters. Yeah? <laughs> but the official end for me will be tonight for sure so oh, car coming they are walking along the road here there's an alternative route of the West Highland way up there in the forest I think this is still the original one it goes along the road some people say it's boring it sucks I liked it so far it was really really beautiful, really, how do you call it, tranquille, <laughs> is that French, is that even a word, very quiet, but it's early morning, yeah, so I don't know how the traffic is like when you arrive here on a Sunday afternoon, so it's Monday morning, it's not the ending, of the West Island Way is over there, but I'm crossing the bridge here, yeah, so I'm not going there, <laughs> Well, uh, two endings of the West Island Way. You have this one roundabout. This seems to be like the original old end of the West Island Way. But as it is not so scenic for the tourists, they decided, hey, we built a statue a bit more in the middle of the Fort William city center, village center, and call that then the end. And that's now. Yeah, what most of the people, where most of the people, 99% end their hike. Ask at the reception of the campsite and they sent me to this, Argos, and said that's most likely the place where I get an SD card. Fingers crossed. Hooray! <laughs> 64 gigabytes. That should be enough for Ben Nevis. Yeah. Argos, pretty cool shop. You basically, you don't go in there and select what you want. It's just, there's just screens in there in the entrance area. And you pick like in an online shop what you want. 
pay it there, go to the counter with the receipt, and then they get it for you. Very effective. <laughs> test test with the new SD card. Yes, that works perfect. Great. Thank you, Argos. If you want to sponsor me, get in touch. Okay, walking back on the other side of the river now. Just uh, have a different view. There already was a sign over there in Fort William that this is the Ben Nevis footpath. So I just stick with it then, I guess. <laughs> Speaking about alternative West Island Way paths, this looks pretty nice. So if you don't want to go on the road, I suggest just cross the river. There's a bridge near the campsite and then you can walk all the way to Fort William on such a path here. Okay, in the beginning there was a little bit of road, but Definitely not main road. Hoo-hoo! Getting wild here! <laughs> It's interesting that I ran out of SD card space on my camera. I think it happened for two reasons. First, this Hero 12 films with 5.3K, so higher resolution, needs it's more data, needs more space. Second, I'm vlogging, kind of. I'm talking to the camera. I usually don't do that. Yeah, if you watch other well, let me see where the path is <laughs> kind of wild here ah, back on the road the path was getting a bit wild over there so yeah if you watch the other videos on my channel you notice that I never talk to the camera so so far it was mainly was either movies with music, you know, hiking, or just like silent movies, just the sound of nature, where I film myself walking or doing things, but no talking. So first time talking, and it's dead. <laughs> yeah, such a clip, like now I'm already talking since one minute. Yeah, that's, that's the main reason I ran out of SD card space. So, lesson learned. <laughs> if you want to be a vlogger, you need way more SD cards. <laughs> okay, arrived at the Ben Nevis Inn. It's the start of the mountain trail here. So what's your opinion? Is all this ST card struggle ahead this morning? Is this relevant for this video? Do you want to see that? I decided to put it in because yeah, that's what happened to me. I don't know, it's like it's a diary here. And I already struggled with that SD card thing since yesterday. Yeah? Yesterday I had, I turned the, I downgraded the filming quality to 4K in order to have a bit more space on the SD card. I started to fill up already full SD cards. There were like 10 minutes left there, 10 minutes left there. So yesterday was a struggle. Didn't mention that because I thought 
not relevant, but nothing is relevant because it explains now if the story why this morning I start this hike so late, 10 a.m. because I had to wait until the shop opens at 9 a.m. which was one hour away from the campsite. That's the reason. Whew. Okay, now let's start the hike up to Ben Nevis. No more SD card problems. It's already busy. You can see more people coming behind me. It's Monday morning, so for sure it should be less busy than on the weekend, but still tourists are here any day of the week. So I expect it to be kind of busy because it's the hiking highlight here in the region. There's the campsite and I can see my tent. It is somewhere there. I will put an arrow in editing and post editing in it. It's a green dot on the green field. It's the problem if you have a if you have a green rain cover then your tent might be camouflaged. So this is the gravel road. I came down yesterday. I think it starts up there and it goes around there and then here along all the way down there. There I did a turn loop and then came down this road there and then campsite. Boom! Steps, 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 stones, stones, stones. Uh, it's positive for the path because it doesn't get washed away with the rain yesterday. It's very durable, I would say. But for hiking, it's very hard. Yeah. Uh, but I don't want to complain. Still feeling good. The weather is nice, it's not too busy, so I am speed. Tough. It's 11.40 and we are at 500 meters elevation. So basically another 900. <laughs> wow, well, so far Uncle Ben is hiding in clouds. Ooh. Shall we do this summit instead? <laughs> no. Yeah, I found a new subscriber on the way up to Ben Nevis. What's hey guys, uh, Travis. Travis. From Australia. 
all the way from Australia for the West Island way. Yeah, uh, they we met today. We were on the train from Glasgow to Mugai, I think. Yeah, yeah. And he already got lost from the Mugai train <laughs> station on the way to the start of the hike. Yeah, quickest, yeah, quickest lost West Island way walker ever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, another one. What's your name? Yeah, I'm from France. You'll be in the video. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> okay, what do you, do you think of the hike? This West hike? West Island way. Uh, okay. Yeah, good. Second half, definitely better. More mountains, yeah. less road noise. Yeah. Um, you did white camping the whole time? A uh, mixture of wild and, um, and normal campsites, yeah. Okay. Because I struggled with the wild camping, my audience knows already. You you can see it later in the video. That I started with the challenge, yeah, I want to wild camp all the nights, and then you know, probably just did one night. <laughs> Was it a bit like a showering? Or? All right. Then, uh, have a safe way down. And yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. All right. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Elevation 635 meters. Can I call this halfway, <laughs> please? It's 20 past 12. You can see the path winding up. First go away there. And then well, I'll see people up there. So, well, just Uncle Ben still hiding. Pretty cool with the lake now. They even see the other lake from Fort William. The view becomes more and more hazy. Probably means that we get into the cloud. Oh, there's also something grey moving in here. Dude! <laughs> but still, even from here, the view is amazing. I'm in the rocky zone now. Still, sort of visibility, but it's getting more and more hazy. Definitely above the tree line here. <laughs> oh, actually, we just crossed 1000 meters. So, above 1000, that's already the achievement for today. If you imagine that we started at Probably something like zero. <laughs> I don't know how high Fort William is. <sighs> Goodbye view. Entering the cloudy section, <laughs> almost falling over my own feet. 1,150 meters. Yeah. Looks like we're reaching the snowy part. A little bit uphill in the snow over there. Looks like fun. <laughs> there's the view. And there's the Matsi. I am speed. Yeah. 
Like in Winter Wonderland. <laughs> go not that bad but more of it in Iceland As a video, what do you want to? Made it to the summit. Great Davis, 1,345 meters. And it is, oh, I have to check the time. I don't know. <laughs> I will put the time down there later. Of course, no visibility, but that doesn't matter. Only the achievement matters. Shelter here. Well, it's an <clears throat> emergency shelter. In case you're up here and weather gets very bad, then you can sleep in here or find shelter in a storm or something like that. Right. Okay, time for the descent. Don't want to spend too much time here, or it will get too late. Still have to go all the way down again and then collect my tent and then make it to Fort William to finish the West Highland Way. Bye bye, summit. Bye bye. It's a bit chilly after a while, so good to get going again. Wow, what a day! <laughs> so I'm more sad that there was no view from the summit. No, because didn't really expect anything, just wanted to reach the summit as an achievement, as the, uh, the final achievement at the end of my trip. And I know that very often it's cloudy here, so it's a high chance that you don't have a good view. But still, it was good. If you are up there in the clouds on the summit, it also is a bit mysterious, and I would call it. It's a mysterious atmosphere with clouds, and you cannot really see more than 20 meters or 50, or I don't know. Yeah. And it looked like everyone else enjoyed it too. People were wooing and taking the pictures. So 
That's what it's all about. Climb the mountain as an achievement, be happy and go down again. Somewhere there, campsite, that's where we are going. Yay! It's 4 p.m. now. Again, reached the 1000 meter level. Now, looking all the way down, I think it's at least another two hours. So, campsite at 6, putting down tent, 6.30, 7. Then walk to Fort William, eight. That's fine. Don't have so many more plans. Just start to realize now that the trip is almost over. Yeah. Tomorrow at this time, I have a flight from Glasgow. <laughs> so, yeah. Sad. So what do I think of the Ben Nevis hike? Very good, very nice. Of course, have no view. But it's not the most important thing. The hike itself was really yeah, challenging, but technically not difficult. So it's basically like you saw on the whole video, uh, a white path going up in the beginning, many, many stones and stairs up here, gravel. And yeah, I think kids can do it. I saw dogs. The only thing you need is endurance. Yeah? It takes quite long. Uh, I think I'm hiking since five hours now and I've already subtracted the time this morning I needed for Fort William. So I think it's five hours and now I'm on the way down. But I'm slow and I'm constantly filming. Yeah? So uh, if you want to fill up water, there's nothing up here. Yeah. Uh, a bit further down there are streams, so if you bring the water filter, you at least can fill up your water there. I only came with this bottle, 750 milliliters, the one I always use. But I brought a water filter in my backpack and I filled up the bottle twice. Yeah? And I might fill up again on the way down. So, especially the uphill part, yeah, if you sweat, you need water. Then bring some snacks, as usual, you know the thing, some nuts, usually bars, whatever you like. And then take your time. I usually do a break every hour. I don't film all the time, yeah. sometimes it's a very short break. I just stop, drink and then continue after five minutes. But it's good just to relax the legs a little bit. So, that's my review <laughs> of the Ben Nevis hike. Whew. Oh, if you are into a bigger challenge maybe, you think, oh, this looks too easy for me. There's a different approach to Ben Nevis from uh, basically from the from the other side. Yeah? It goes along the ridge. So, but you have to Google it yourself. Yeah? There's a different approach. It takes longer, and 
I would only recommend in good weather because now if it's cloudy you don't see anything then the ridge might be boring too <laughs> but in good weather it's spectacular because from that side you approach Ben Nevis from in a way that you see it's rocky face yeah but the north face I don't know but it has one side that is very rocky and cliffy and here this side is more round so look it up that's for you Okay, I'm down to 700, 700 meters. So that's your, if you want to fill up water bottle on the way up, that's your last chance after this. No more water. Or if you have a bigger bottle, you can also fill it up here. So I'm already on the rocky stairs section and since I don't know how long, half an hour, 45 minutes, I'm completely alone. I know there are people behind me but they are slow, slower than me or as slow and the fast ones have overtaken me a long time ago. Super cool to walk down here alone and look down to Glen Nevis. I started drizzling a little bit, rain covers on. Here and now I take a shortcut, which should bring me to the campsite. It says youth hostel. Yeah. Goes down there. Whew, finally down that path. Shortcut to the youth hostel. It was a slippery slope. Slippery rocks after the drizzle rain. So I have to be very careful. As you can hear, I'm already down by the street. That's actually the youth hostel there. Back on the main road, on my way to the campsite. The road is wet. Looks like it has rained more down here than it has rained up on the mountain. So that means tent will be wet. Well, but it was wet this morning anyway. And it's fine. I'll just pack it as it is wet. I can dry it back at home. I'll just put it wet onto the plane. <laughs> Okay, tent is in the backpack. All my things are in the backpack. <laughs> and I am on the way to finish the West Highland Way. On the way to Fort William now. The last three and a half or so kilometers. <laughs> I will walk along the main road because that's already what I know. It's the original West Highland way. And yeah, don't mind some cars. Oh, what is that? Taxi. <laughs> no, I'm walking, no taxi. Feels very special now to walk these last kilometers of the West Highland Way. Whew, nine days, more than 150 kilometers 
I'm sure way more because I did Ben Lomond, Ben Nevis and all these back and forward walking to get the camera shots so I have to check at home how many kilometers it actually was I tracked everything with my watch yep Whew. wow this is the end so how do I summarize it all? it's not possible to summarize it was amazing what was the best day? For me, day three, I think. The day all along Lake Lomond. It was super hard, of course, but for me, also the most beautiful. And then, I don't want to pick a second one. The other days are very close to number one. Yeah. Every day had something special. The day from Milkai to Dryman, just starting in this park area in Milkai. Still kind of suburban, many houses, parks. Then Dryman over Conic Hill to Salotch campsite on the public holiday. Very busy. Very busy day. Beautiful views. Great weather. There my backpack was the heaviest, I think, because I had these two gas cartridges. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I mixed up things. Day three was Ben Lomond. Day four was then my favorite day along along the lake yeah so lodge campsite was special half wild half normal campsite with fire both evenings super cool Ben Lomond challenging in the end got rewarded with with some views then my favorite day day four along the lake Super hard, super late evening at Bindlas campsite. Day five, Bindlas to Tundrum. Beautiful weather, awesome hike, nice scenery, nice valley. Now it starts raining. West Highland Way is crying that I have to go. <laughs> Day six, Tindrum to King's House. 21, 31 kilometer marathon, epic. Day seven, King's House to Kinloch Leven. Bit shorter day, bit relaxed. Early arrival. Then, yesterday, day eight, Kinloch Leven to Glen Nevis valley. Another long day but with awesome highlander views. Then today Ben Nevis epic hike, highest mountain of Scotland. Conquered it. <laughs> and now we are here Fort William. The official, well no the original end of the West Highland Way. Here we go. That was the original end of the West Highland Way and now I am on the way to the official end of the West Highland Way. Oh, it just rained cats and dogs. But I don't care, no more rain jacket, just moving.
Well, there was it. The official end. <laughs> it was funny because there's a, a pub slash restaurant right next to it with a big window, and all the people in there watch you when you take your photos. <laughs> and they were watching me trying it several times because there were always people somehow walking into my my shot. <laughs> Okay, I'm now on the way to my accommodation. Whew. I'm sure I will have some last words later to finish this video. Now I just want to arrive there and then get changed and eat and drink something. I'm starving. Good morning, it's day 10 of the West Highland Way. I just left my accommodation and on the way to the bus station now. Back is here. Thought I'd stand here in front of this church for some last words to wrap up this video. I want to wrap it up with a story of something what happened yesterday evening when I arrived in Fort William. So just before Fort William, I overtook a woman who was walking very slowly with sticks and she had hip problems or feet problems, I don't know. She was maybe my age, maybe a bit older. And so I overtook her, wished her all the best and then I arrived in Fort William, did my video thing with the the uh, original end and the official end of the West Island Way and just when I had finished the video at the official end that woman also arrived there so yeah I cheered to her and high five and things well done and then I just put my things aside my bag my sticks everything put away and then told her okay this is this is your moment no no this is your moment with the, the statue on the bench. So I watched her from a distance then. And then yeah, she sat down, hugged the statue and started crying. Yeah, it was very emotional. It made me think the whole evening, or was it this morning? So for some people, this hike is very, very important. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not just camping in villages and landscapes and things like that. It's a lifetime dream and a lifetime challenge. And they get very emotional when they finish it. So yeah, it's almost like the pilgrimage can compare to the Camino de Santiago in, in Spain. Anyway, it's time to finish. So thank you if you stay if you're still with me in this video. And thank you if you have watched all the other videos. Thank you all. Thank you very much. And one last time. I am speed.